Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth part of this Daniel Smith swatching series. In today's video we're going to be swatching out and taking a look at all the greens. So first up is Cascade Green. Uh, this is a mix of PBR7 and PB15. This is actually quite an interesting paint. There's kind of a like separation of various blues and green shades. At this point I realized I hadn't written any pigment information on the paper, so yeah, after a brief stop, we move on to the second paint. And this one is Jadeite Genuine. This is a Primatec paint, so there's no pigment information. Yeah, it's a lovely dark granulating green. I really like this one. And next we have Viridian. And this one's PG-18. I know that some Viridians can be really difficult to re-wet, but I'm happy to report this one was pretty easy. Yeah, I think it's a good Viridian. Not the strongest, I still think I prefer the Da Vinci one. And next is Diopside Genuine. And again, this is another Primatech paint, so no pigment information. On first impression, I thought it looked pretty similar to the Jadeite, but I'd say this one's definitely a bit more, yeah, it has a bit more of a yellow tone to it. It's a very nice paint, though. And next we have Thalo Green Blue Shade. And this is made from PG7. Yeah, it's a good Thalo Green. And next we have Prussian Green. This one is a mix of PB27 and PY97. Yeah, this one's quite blue. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like it that much. Next is Terra Verte. And uh, this is a mix of PG18 and PBR7. Yeah, this one's not particularly interesting to me, though I have been told by some people that it's quite useful for flesh tones. And next we have Cobalt Green Pale. And this one's made from PG19. Yeah, I've never liked the PG19 pigment. To me it's just horrible, weak, gummy paint. And yeah, this one's no exception. And next is Cobalt Green. And this one's made from PG50. Yeah, this one's a much nicer Cobalt Green in my opinion. I do like the granulation as well. Okay, now moving on to the second row, we have Spring Green. And this one is a three pigment mix of PY53, PG36, and PY151. Yeah, I think this is a lovely green. Uh, I definitely think Spring Green is the right name for it. It's lovely and bright. And 
And next we have permanent green light. And this is a mix of PY3 and PG7. Wow, this one's even brighter than the spring green. I actually think I prefer this one a little bit. And next is Thalo Yellow Green, and it's made from PG36 and PY3. I can't quite decide if I like this one or not. I think it might be a bit too yellow for my taste. And next we have Permanent Green, and again this is a mix of PY3 and PG7. Yeah, this one's quite a bit cooler than the permanent green light. Yeah, it is very nice though. And next we have Thalo Green Yellow Shade, and this is PG36. I do think I much prefer the yellow shade of Thalo Green to the blue shade. Um, I have heard some people say that the blue shade is more versatile though when it comes to mixing. And now we have Hooker's Green. This one is a four pigment mix of PG36, PY3, PY150 and PO48. Yeah, I really like this color. I think it would be a useful green to have in a landscape palette. Next we have Sap Green. This is a mix of PO48, PY150 and PG7. I remember swatching this one out in the past and being really impressed by it. It's such a nice green. I think it's one that I would actually consider adding to my palette. And next we have Serpentine Genuine. This is another Primatech paint, so again, no pigment information. I do like this paint a lot. I was sent a pan of it by a very kind subscriber, and yeah, I've quite enjoyed using it in my landscapes. And next we have Chromium Oxide Green. And this is made from PG17. I kind of go through phases of liking and then not liking this pigment. Uh, this, yeah, this Daniel Smith one looks pretty good to me. Okay, now onto the third row with Green Appetite Genuine. Again, it's another Primatech paint, so no pigment information. Yeah, lots of interesting granulation going on with this one. Yeah, it looks really good to me. It's just the kind of green I like. And next we have Rare Green Earth. So Daniel Smith's website doesn't give a pigment number for this one. It just says that it's made from natural iron oxides. Okay, well, this one's sort of a grey-green colour. Could be a useful shadow colour, I guess. Uh, next we have Deep Sap Green. Made from PB27, PY3 and PO48. Yeah, this one looks really good. It's like a lovely kind of forest green color. And next up is Perylene Green. And this is made from PBK31.
I've tried this pigment in a few brands now and yeah, I'm really starting to like it. I definitely think it would be useful for, you know, shadows in tree foliage. Next we have undersea green. And this is made from PB29, PO48 and PY150. I've heard lots of good things about this paint. Um, I can see why people like it. Yeah, undersea green is definitely the right name for it. Next is Zoesite Genuine. I don't think I said that right. <laughs> it's another Primatech paint. This one looks a bit more of a grey than a green to me. You're saying that, I think there is a bit of a green kind of tinge to it. And next is olive green. And this is made from PY97, PB29 and PBR7. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good olive green to me. Though, yeah, maybe it is a bit too yellow for my taste. And next we have green gold. And this is made from PY150, PY3 and PG36. I can never quite decide if I like green gold paints or not. I know they're useful, but I don't know. They just seem kind of ugly to me. And finally, we have rich green gold. And this is PY129. So I've tried a few brands of PY129, and yeah, they were all much greener than this one, I think. This one, for me, is way too yellow. Okay, that's all of them painted out, and here they are when completely dry. Yeah, Daniel Smith definitely have a good selection of greens here, though I tend to mix my own greens, so I think I'll be unlikely to use any of these. I am quite tempted to get the sap green to experiment with, though. What do you think of Daniel Smith's greens? Any particular favourites? Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.